in the previous video clip we investigated the um, value of European put option and we changed the the code um, to reflect that a put option is estimated by is estimated by taking the maximum of k minus s so if we come back here and just highlight we can see this is s so k the value of the exercise minus s gives us the value of the terminal intrinsic option price for the pot and then that was then uh, using this relationship here for a European option using this relationship e negative r dt p c u plus one minus p c d get the value of the option through the tree to investigate by how much the value of the option changes if we change it from being a European pot to an American pot okay uh, we can make one small change so let's just copy everything and paste and examine uh, what is the value proposition offered by an American pot over European pot so for a Euro European pot the value of the option is 509 for an American put okay we just change the exercise type to being an American normally that should enhance the value of the American pot the value of this would the pot is more valuable being American okay so let's just verify that okay so its value goes from 509 to 588 okay how do we introduce this into the tree manually well what we can do is change let's take this down one we instead of using this code we could use uh, this element here so it's an american put and it's okay so let's just highlight that and we'll change this back to being black so this is the segment of code that really applies here and the, the let's take this up in terms of the loop okay so how we might envisage this is instead of taking okay instead of using maximum so if we just highlight instead of taking the e negative rt by p by cu plus one minus p cd we're going to introduce this term here maximum we need to augment our code by introducing this element here maximum back in okay so the maximum k minus s so as it turns out that's not actually so difficult to do okay so let's have a look at that it is we just introduce maximum max open bracket uh, k because it's a put option up um if it's for a put option it's k okay so k is we've already identified k as being 100 f4 minus s consistent with that time so the s here in this case would be this value here and then comma and we can close brackets again So we're saying the maximum and we probably need to put brackets around 
here and here to take this as one. So we're saying take the maximum of either this or the time value. So either exercise immediately or go with the time value depending. Okay, so we pull that down as before. We pull it back. And now if we look at the maximum, we can see that uh, this is the new S. If I pull that down and down, okay, there's an increase here. So if I exercise immediately, it's worth more than if um, if just uh, depending on the time value, we pull back, no effect, pull down, S same and pull back and it's 588 which is the results that we obtained here so if we change if we just change the rounding to investigate to 8 okay you can it's clear that we get the same value in both cases so this value here is the same as this value okay and that's typically what's obtained. The American pots are more valued than European pots, generally speaking. However, interestingly, if we perform the same exercise for the call option, and in that case, okay, so let's just copy everything again and paste in, and we're looking at an American call. Right. All we need to do is revert. Again, this already has embedded in the max command. So it's saying if the option exercise early, if it is intuitive, if it's um, profitable to do so. Um, the only change I need to make in the code here, of course, this has to change. So we're taking this out if you like. Okay, and we're looking at this. Now, in theory, it's known that put up American calls and European calls, uh, it's never um, optimal. If there's no dividend, it's never optimal to exercise an American call early. So, American calls and European calls are generally considered to be of equivalent value where no dividend occurs. Okay, so if we re change this, if we revert back to the call. Okay, so let's change that and put this back to automatic. Okay, so we're looking at this case. Right, the only change I make here then is we change the it's S minus K. So we have, if you like, this figure here minus k s minus k pull that down everything changes this is 15 85 and also I need to make one additional change the max here also has to change so we need to change uh, instead of s k minus s it should be s minus k so l4 should so the maximum s minus so s that's l4 minus k k being again um 100 and we pull this down and pull it back and we pull this down and pull it back and we pull this down and we pull this back and we get 997 and let's and then just verify here by changing the option designation from being American to European and when we do that of course it's um, we also have to change it to be a call. 
so for European okay an American so European coal is 997 and because it's we're looking at an American option same value so again this in a sense is further if you like um, validation to our result that it's never optimal to exercise an American call prematurely if the if there's no dividend and we have no dividend in this particular instance okay so and we would like our binomial tree to adhere to that so whether we change this from being European to American if we go back and redesignate as European option no change here if we change it back to an American no change here and also when we when we manually set up the same rights that you can exercise early when what we observe is it's never optimal to exercise the tree early so the American tree actually turns out to be equivalent to the European tree okay so just to recap in our if we go to our tree our VBA code we have the Cox Ross Rubenstein tree allows us to estimate the values of European and American options both for calls and puts uh, same basic steps are involved in each instance once we have the option parameter inputs we can deduce what the time step is the magnitude of u the magnitude of d the risk neutral probability we set out the tree so that the stock price or the asset price must be generated um, using a double loop we then must e estimate the value of the option at expiry so the intrinsic value so for each of the nodes each of the terminal stock prices generated in this tree we must estimate the intrinsic value of the option and then from the intrinsic value of the options we come back through the tree and we estimate the time values if it's a european option this is typically what we use whether for the call or for the put if it's an american option then because an, an American options allows the right to exercise prematurely, we have to investigate, does it make more sense to exercise the option early? So in the case of a call, American call, S minus K or the time value. So we either take the maximum of S minus K or the, the time value. What generally you find is for American calls, it's never optimal to exercise a call option early. Okay, so... Uh, the value here for the put will obtain uh, and yes sometimes the value of an American put will be will exceed the value of a European put and it can be optimal to exercise an American put prematurely um, and there is value enhancement okay so if we go back into the tree we can see for a European call the values obtained whether done manually okay are the same as using the VBA function for a European pot we obtain the same values whether the whether we uh, do it manually or use the VBA function and likewise there's a correspondence as well same value obtained for an American pot and American call the American call value uh, is the same as the European call value so both are the same and um, also uh, this approach what it allows if we do develop code uh, whether it's VBA C++ because we can set out because we can look at different levels of steps we can verify our results using a manual type tree construction and that's one of the virtues of this type of construction once we set out some code VBA code we can verify does the actual result hold we can verify does our code sync with a manual construction of a four-step tree a five-step tree ten-step tree maybe fifty-step tree 